Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode 412 of the Dutch Hall. As you know, I've been pretty open on this podcast about uh, my mental health struggles. And in this episode, I was recently put on a new crazy pill by my doctor. And my body had not adjusted to it yet. So I actually felt like I was like going down a roller coaster, the first hill of a roller coaster, like constantly through this episode. So if you notice I'm sped up in my talking, that could be part of it. Also, I'm competing with Joe Botello. We brought back Joe Botello and Val Cole because they had such a great appearance last time, trying to recreate the gold we had before. I think we might have missed it a bit, and I blame it on my uh, adjustment to these pills. But um, I think there was still some good moments in there. I do apologize. The audio quality is terrible. I did not have Val's mic uh, uh on or or mic'd properly and in order for me to get you to hear just as much as you can of Val I had uh, uh, boosted up so you hear so much of Joe's breathing so I do apologize for that right off the hop if you uh, and then if you'd like to support the show go to patreon.com slash dutch hall and join our queen as our one and only patreon s- subscriber so we can get our numbers above one it's not too much to ask and uh, you can also support CleanFlow, the sponsor of this program. CleanFlow, go to K-E-L-L-F-L-O.com to check out all their great products. And uh, also, go to Swazi's, or go to <coughs> my, we have an event coming up on October 14th, Pumpkin Fest at Swazi's, right after the fireworks, come down to Swazi's and enjoy a night of uh, comedy and music with myself hosting, uh, headliner Ty Great, featured Joe Batello. And uh, if you can listen to this whole episode and you still want to see Joe, <laughs> come out to see us at Swazi's, and uh, you can, uh, we're going to have a great time. Oh, and also Badunka Funk is going to be there, and so you better have your dancing shoes on. We're going to have a great time at Swazi's, right after the fireworks on Pumpkin Fest Friday. Uh, it's October 14th in Waterford, Ontario. Thank you very much to everyone who supports the show, and I hope that you, uh, oh, also, I forgot, you can always give us some feedback at uh, the Dutch Hall gmail.com. Go to Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. We got all those things. Get a hold of us and tell us what you think of the show. And we'll make sure to use it on the program. Thanks to everyone that does that because it makes me keep doing this thing. And for without further ado, here's a very long episode with my two great friends, Val Cole and Joe Batello. Enjoy. You know, the you know why? Because he doesn't do anything else other than Oompa Loompas. Deep Roy was in uh, Big Fish, too. Do you remember that movie, it. Big Sounds Fish? terrible. See it? Oh, you... He, he was a circus guy. <laughs> <laughs> wow, lots of h- hardest working guy I've ever seen. That's a great movie. Big Fish, Big oh, Fish. Big Fish is that uh, James Cameron? Not James Cameron. That's a famous guy. Cameron Crowe? Cameron Crowe, I think, did that. Is it? No? Cameron Crowe did Famous, right? <laughs> Well, maybe it is. Just check your phones, you fucking old fuck. I don't have it. Mine's dead. <laughs> Everything's dead in your hands. <laughs> <laughs> my cock doesn't work. <laughs> my penis. <laughs> I uh, I fucked up my uh, my knee, and then there's a. Uh, oh, Tim Burton. Uh, Tim Burton. Uh, I fucked up my knee, and then I was hey. thinking, like, what would I rather fuck up my knee or my boner? And after like four days of intense knee pain, I still went. I'd rather fuck up my knee than my penis. Yeah, honestly, this happened to me this week. I went to the doctor i told you and i said how they follow up on my urinary problems because i have this like wicked prostate because i keep making testosterone yeah, yeah, yeah and um a real man and then uh but because of that i can't pee mm-hmm. so then they gave me these pills that made me pee 
but then they made me so I couldn't get a boner. Yeah. And then, uh, so I was like, well, that's no good. I'd like my boners mm -hmm. back. So then they switched it. They said, hey, we'll give you some of this daily dose of Cialis, which they think is, I'm using recreational, so they won't uh, cover it. But anyway, that's beside the point. Mm -hmm. But they, uh, so now I get this daily dose of Cialis. Boners are back, better than ever. That's great. And then. Daily dose. Wow. Yeah, I just had a little a, a micro dose, I, I guess it's mm -hmm. called. You want to have some in your system at all times in case you ever need it. So it just triggers, like your boner gets like, reacts to a trigger. Sorry, that's yeah. a better way of phrasing yeah. it. Okay. Yeah, that's exactly it's what it is. You yeah. still need to have something to trigger, st yeah. stimulate you yeah, in order for it to trigger. work. I like gun uh, analogy. Is that how Viagra works too? Do you just, or do you just take it and just I get a boner? Viagra is just like, you get the boner, right? Yeah, see, that's not what I want. I want some, I still want something to get. There are stories of like uh, in Europe where guys would get kidnapped. They would feed them uh, Viagra and then like make them have gay sex and then videotape and go, see, you're gay, you're hard. And not knowing it's actually Viagra. So there's a lot of blackmailing going on because of Viagra. Is that, like a pan, did you hear that? It's a pandemic going on. Did you hear that story for reals? Or are you just, <laughs> no, just making it, it up? up? I just made it. <laughs> we should play two. Yeah, because I was saying that sounds really made up. Like, that's that, how you can make, like, someone look like they were enjoying it. You pump them full of Viagra and then. I don't think you do get. Do you know, is that true? You have to. Well, how's get, Viagra work? You've, you, you've been in around. I think you're right, though, in theory, I think. Viagra has a direct uh, physiological without stimulation on your blood pressure or mm. something. Yeah. Oh. And whereas I guess Cialis is a subtler brain. Mm -hmm. No, uh, what it is is it's a dilator. Uh, so it just opens up blood flow to everything. Uh, so, so you're say, feeling extra good just in general. Well, they just say, you, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. yeah. So you're just feeling good. You said you could become lightheaded yeah. or have low yeah. blood pressures, yeah. that sort of thing. <gasps> but I have high blood pressure, so that's no big deal. I can mm. stand to be lower. And then, uh, and I, I get dizzy. It's fun. That's like the closest I get. I hate getting to, dizzy. Yeah. Getting, you, you hate it? Yeah. I like it. I, you ever see like a little kid and then they'll just spin around in circles yeah, never and then they uh, enjoy it? That kid's going to be an alcoholic. <laughs> I don't get <laughs> spins. Yeah. <laughs> they just like it too much. If I was like hungover, I would never drink as much as I drink. I'm never hungover. So, and I never get spins. Like maybe four times I've been hungover and it was the worst experience of my life. I've never and seen I you purposely drunk. stopped drinking for like a couple of weeks and months after that. What? Yeah, the last one I almost died. The last time I got super drunk. Yeah. How I was long like ago puking. Was I was like, this was like four years ago. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's like Steve Jordan saved me. Really? Like, yeah. Like I was fucked up bad. Like puking. I couldn't feel my fingers for like three I days. So it's just something personal happened. I was like, just fucking start drinking. And then I was just like drinking and like, ah, super emotional. That's not the like, answer, man. I know it's not the answer. I mean, like, and then I got like, so sick. And then um, I remember coming home uh, and Lorna's like calling me and she's like, where the fuck are you? It's eight o'clock in the morning. And I never not go home every time I go out. And, uh, and I get home and I get in the door and I puke and then she's laughing at me. And then Logan's like, like, what the hell, mom? That's not nice. He's like, puking. He's puking because he did it to himself. It's like, just because he did it to himself, it's not his fault or whatever. He says something like that. And then she's just like, whatever. I don't care. Your father's drunk. <laughs> and I'm just like, it's okay, Logan. Blah. Like, just, I was so sick. I was for sure sick. Like, uh, blood uh, yeah, uh, blood poisoning for sure. Couldn't feel like I, it took like six months my thumb didn't have feelings in them. Really? Yeah, my, it just had no feeling in my thumb. I never went to the doctor. <laughs> I'm just like, nah, I'm not going to the doctor. But that first couple of days, I couldn't feel my hands that much. Like, it was, my hands were so numb. How bad was your finger? Like bad, like it was like a maybe you put maybe a pinch the nerve in your neck from puking or something, and then maybe that could oh with the hands thing yeah because yeah, I do get that anyways my shoulders are so big yeah like medically they're like big so oh yeah are they are, are, do your doctor measure them and say you're yeah, medically yeah. jacked <laughs> Mr. Batano I went to go for my knee and then I was like uh, he was saying something about my claws I'm like they're so big they're so big <laughs> and then I left and he never mentioned anything about a cholesterol or diabetes so I'm like I must be good he just looked at me squeezed your quads yeah he squeezed my quads he's like well this is a problem with your knee and then i was waiting for him to say well maybe we should get blood work for all the other problems but he didn't say that which means there are no other problems because he already he looked at me in the eye and he goes and then i was fine man normally doctors if they well they're sworn right if they see someone like they see him they go oh, let's get a bunch of work done right and then they see me and they just go 
specimen, I think was a word that came out of his mouth. He goes, specimen? I mean, Joe. Sorry, Joe. Joe Batello? Oh, yeah. He's calling me specimen for a long time. Yeah, like, listen, this isn't, this isn't in your books. Your books ain't going to have a specimen like this. Yeah, this is, like, we haven't seen a Neanderthal. Yeah, yeah, we haven't seen the <laughs> Doctor, isn't it called the missing link? Yeah. And he's like, yes, that we call this the missing link. Come in here. And then they start measuring everything, and they're like, we don't have tapes in medical school that big for his neck. 22-inch neck, bro. Is that what you have? 22-inch. I have to go to Big and Tall. Did I tell you this? For your 22-inch neck? So I had to go get, so I got suited up. I got suited up. I saw up, that. And uh, I went shoes? to, I went to White Runners. They're Pumas, which are still like, you know, they're not. I thought you looked sharp, dude. Thank you. Thank you. A lot of people, I don't have to get confirmation or aff affirmation. Um, I know I look amazed, but thank you. Yeah. I, I would, I would have appreciated it. more on social, social media. It, so if you, you put on it. social media, I would have uh, liked it. I thought it was true. Thank you. Um, I'm not going to share anything with your picture. All right. So. Uh, I do one picture of you a year. It's the one. Yeah, I that's a good one. Yeah. The one I use all the time. Yeah. <laughs> the, in your pool. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I went. Uh, yeah. The Captain America. Would come yeah. I just show the close up of his penis head in I love PP. Whenever it comes on Facebook memories. I think for your birthday. <laughs> no, I think it, that was that was uh, October. I oh, think. October, yeah, yeah Halloween. I do. Um, <laughs> so anyway, so I go to uh, get clothes in like a regular tuxedo pl or suit place, and they're like, the guy's like, we don't. There's a lot we don't have for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He goes, you're big, and I go, not tall, right? He goes, just big, and then so. So you have to go to a big and tall store. No, just for my shirt. I couldn't find a shirt. I got I like a custom uh, suit. I got a suit, but it was tailored at a regular suit store which was really nice and then by the shirt i had to go to the big and tall and that place is cool as fuck but she measured my neck the lady was all over me dude she's like just all over me i know they kind of have to be but i was like i loved everything she was doing to me like everything she tied my tie was this close to me and i was like you do this a lot right she goes yeah i'm like well how do you deal with bad breath she goes oh i just don't inhale and it was like i want to kiss her so fucking bad hey lauren how's it going i want to kiss her so bad you know what i mean like she was that close i was like you're so nice to me tell me if this is a normal thing val uh, this is when i was like in my 20s right i went to the mall to buy my wife a bra right That's for christmas normal. right right or she said she wanted a bra or whatever and so i went to like uh one of the like um the panty shops you know like uh licenza or something like that <laughs> don't, say don't say panties yeah knickers knickers yeah. oh yeah drawers Draw. i read the place where you buy drawers and uh anyways the lady goes how big is your like what size is your wife and then i'm like uh i'm pretty sure she's like a 32 and then uh she goes what cup size and i'm like i don't know like a b or a c i think i said at the time and then she's like uh she's like well um how would you like she's trying to get me to describe how big the girl's boobs like how big jane's boobs are and then she goes at one point she she takes her shirt and she goes like this like she pulls the shirt to to show yeah. how big her boob is and yeah. she says well i'm a c how does it compare to this you know that's what she said <laughs> she did the girl and uh i was like uh like um like i like i thought that was really hot <laughs> you know and then uh then uh but then I, every time i told people that story they're like i don't think girls are, like do that like yeah. i don't think huh yeah they do they totally do stuff to, like that for us they know that uh yeah, they that's do. good because like i just i like you, you just don't know what to do you know you uh, attack bro <laughs> oh, it's weird. i might say well i'm see i might say that yeah i i think I this girl know that i'd be going like pull yeah yeah that, <laughs> that. see that was that wasn't to turn us off that was for comedy B. but B. No, she's C a, oh, dang she's it. A C C not good out of it. To a D. Yeah, she's 36. Big ones, man. No. 34. 34. Yeah. 34. D. Solid. That's a solid tit. That's a solid tit size. But I also really I had no idea. She hides so it. Yeah, she hides it. Yeah. 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 Play it up. That's why I did oh, the. Oh, that's bikinis. why I wired her oh, up. That's why I, uh, on a movie I always wired her. I was like, I'll wire her up, and then I would wire her up, like put tape on her boob to hold the wire. Is that what you did me too? Yeah, I was like, I'll wire you up. <laughs> yeah, all uh, you kept having to adjust. Okay, the wire but but what? But with your mouth. But not the what you just did. But when you like someone, you do things on purpose to get them to like you. Like you'll start touching them. Yes. Okay. Because you're not normally touching if you don't like someone. How about when you fix your hair 
like when there's a handsome in guy and uh you just do, is that a conscious thing or a subconscious thing that women do <laughs> Like, like they'll start pre like kind of preening yeah, themselves like, and it, it's not even when they're talking to you. it's like if they notice you'll notice like a good looking guy will walk in the room and like when women no notice them they'll like start like yeah when AJ making walks sure in. they're like uh their clothes are nice and their hair is good and stuff and they don't, i don't even think it's conscious i think it's just something conscious. that they yeah i would immediately want to go to the bathroom to check myself if there's a handsome guy come in, like, cause yeah. you get wet that fast. No, but I, for oh. some reason, there's just a part of me that oh. I look okay and smell okay. Yeah, and smell okay. Can you imagine being that good looking that where you? Uh, I'm around it a lot. Where yeah. people would want to, like, look good for you just cause you yeah. look so good. Yeah, uh, there's guys like that. I mean, people do that. Like, I find they don't. I wouldn't care a bit. I think they do that in front of me a lot. <laughs> I think they like sort of act more heroic around me. Maybe. Like when I meet a man, they just like they size me up and they go. They have a story or two that to prove how heroic they are. They shake my hand. They go bailed a couple tons of hay this morning. And I go, that's good, man. That's good. You do you think when you see a bunch of real men? Yeah. Do you think like I'm amongst that? Yeah. Community. I size up. Don't you size up every man that you see? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, we all do it. I always go, can I fuck this guy up? Or is there something in this room that could help me fuck that guy up? To be honest, I have a bias that's probably going to get me killed one day mm. that I think I'm stronger than everybody yeah. that comes from the city. Like yeah, everybody. you're not wrong, though. <laughs> it just seems people, like they have, don't have country strength. No, they don't. Yeah. They don't. My my boss is a, is a country boy, and he's country strong. Yeah. Well, There's a thing uh, called country strong we say out here. It is. I think it's country it's, stuff, country strong. And he's got that country strength, the kind of strength you only get from years of, like, dude. Hard trolls. labor from a yeah. baby. You have to yeah. do labor. Like, as a baby, a like, you labor. have to milk your own mom's tits for milk as a country baby. You got to sell a liter, city drink baby. a liter, sell city City baby, <laughs> city baby gets a tit placed in the mouth. Country baby has to while mama's out collecting beans, milk it itself. Just latch on. She, he, she leaves milk. her boob at home. Yeah, and then she goes to collect yeah, beans. Yeah. No, no, he has to crawl. That's how you learn how to. Oh, while that's she's how his country folk beans? learn how to crawl. Yeah, he's like, hey, he crawls as she's like going way by the wall. And she's singing that as she's like picking stuff, right? Not, nah, you know what I mean, whatever. Corn, wait, wait, by the water, wait, wait in the water. whatever. I'm not, I was never, Word I was never a slave. Children. I don't know the song. I was, um, I was a child <laughs> slave for real. And, uh, and <laughs> no, you'd see a baby crawl, a country baby, a country baby just crawls different. A country baby <laughs> crawls for life because city baby crawl for fun. A <laughs> when you country, you see a country baby crawl, there's a purpose to the crawl. That's the purpose. I'll, you, your city folk, when your baby crawl, that's for fun. When a country baby crawls, because We're not there's a leave. predator, there's a dog loose in the house, and mama's too busy pit, pitching hay in the back. I got to find my mama. You see in the gate of the crawl, you see how it's different. It's true. It's not. You're not that wrong. I'm not wrong. No. Because country folk are rarely wrong about country stuff. Well, I'm just telling you, we're stronger than you are. Yeah, I'm a country. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, yeah. I'm half country I'm now. A, I'm a country. <laughs> I'm a country, man. I'm a country. I like what country Blake Shelton. You, is that your... Yeah. Do, I, do we sound... Like, um... Do we sound... You sound slower, yeah. When I slower, So you yeah. think you're always stronger than everyone from the city? I always super. know I'm smarter than someone from the city. <laughs> from I the, walk both worlds. I'm like I'm like Blade when it comes to, like, you city. you're smarter than... Than the people from the country yeah unless they're like actually smarter than me like if they're like a doctor but even that i'm like i am du i i seem dumber than mm. i am I, you're not far off from what i what you seem though no you, you took like 85 minutes to fix a mu to it's the batteries well uh, you know how you fix it in the city you get a new one i know it's all you right here now. you're like i hope god fixes this real soon because this podcast did fix it didn't he <laughs> no he did not sir because god doesn't work like that and you would know if you were a true city country folk you gotta figure out where you're from i can't figure out where because i'm a walker of two worlds like blade they call me country blade was blade uh was uh, blade with blade was a vampire? a vampire and a day walker i'm a country how folk. can a vampire go in the daytime is he because he was born of a woman of a because he got dark. so his mu the, the the origin of blade is this how do you not know i've never watched blade you never watched blade no sorry blade's mom's attacked by a vampire she starts turning but she got attacked 
attacked while she was in labor. So Blade got Ha- like got vampire blood in him oh. but he was already like developed as a fucking baby so the blood was going through vampire blood got into him one last time somehow it ended up creating mm. a, this, this he's this, a vampire and a human yeah he's a vampire he has all the strengths of a vampire and none of its weaknesses and I know um, you're not supposed to call vampire an it because they're people like everyone else but they're not they're it's yeah, okay. but, but I'm not like, for vampire but, rights. So that's how he can be in the daytime. So could he see his reflection? Yeah. So all, what did I just say? If you weren't listening, all country, the hey, country, so hey, garlic country boy, listen up. Kill him. Garlic doesn't kill him. The silver bullet, the stake in the so heart. Trying to figure that. it out, country boy. Listen, yeah, yeah. all of the strengths. Out. Yeah, all the strengths. None of the weaknesses of the vampire. What is the strength of a vampire then? Literal physical strength. <laughs> oh, okay, and then they can turn into a speed. Bat. No, that's it's made up bullshit. They can't turn into no man, that's not real. Well, that's not what I always heard. What? Yeah, that's made up. Not the whole thing. No, not the whole thing. Um, so <laughs> the uh, so the uh, I have to get this straight though. Is it a weakness that they have to drink blood all the time? No, that's like that's not a weakness. That's a strength. That's a strength, man. He, they can't eat. Right no, that's a weakness. Food. I think it's a weakness. It's like metal to him. Yeah, it doesn't taste like metal to you. Yeah, yeah, I like a taste of metal. Pennies. I taste. Uh, what, what do you like? What, what do you like? Rap music? You don't like metal? I like the taste of metal in my mouth. What? Do they? You're eating the wrong buttholes. My butthole tastes Ten like minutes. Korean barbecue. I had Korean bar. Yo, I got fucked up. I like this is how this is another very man thing where it's like uh, they're like, do you want? Uh, uh, how do you want your Korean barbecue <laughs> sandwich? And then I'm like, I want it. Uh, I go, what? What do you mean? She's like, Korean. Do you, yeah, do you want spicy or not spicy? And I go, spicy, because I'm a man. I go, I can handle spicy. Yeah. And then I get, I sit down on a bucket when I'm at work. I take a couple bites. I go. Whoo. Woo, woo, in front of like four other men i'm like woo, I'm just like so hot and they're like well you can't handle heat oh let me tell you i can handle heat and everyone goes around saying how they can handle heat because i'm sweating because it was so hot and i was like i've never ate here before i didn't know it was that hot and all those guys are calling you a pussy yeah yeah they're right away they're like they oh, hot you think you can, you can't handle nothing and i'm like take a bite they're i don't like, understand that that is like why does that make you like more manly to handle spice, tolerating you know? pain man Oh, is it what it is? Yeah, it's about tolerance. Have about. you done the hot five? No, I'm no man. I don't get booked at Levity Bro. No, but I feel like I could do it. Did you I email? I'm doing it on next Thursday. Oh, you got on? You got through? Yeah. Oh. I'm going to eat those five chicken wings and tell five old dick jokes. Yeah, my problem was that it, you had to do five minutes of material. And I was like, I don't know. I can't do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, hey. I can't do that. <laughs> no, no, I just didn't want it. I never applied for it. I don't, I think, I don't like those little tricks uh, of shows, like when they, the gimmick shows. I'm not yeah, a I like, fan. <clears throat> I like, I kind of like it because. Well, everyone goes you, too. Yeah, yeah, but it also like for from a performance standpoint, it takes you out of your comfort zone, and then it uh, puts like throws a curve into it, and then uh, I think it's something to play off of. It's just another foil to play off of, and it I, makes your old if you're telling old jokes, you're kind of bored with, then it makes them fun. I don't have the discipline to challenge myself like that. Like my my thing is like if I'm not enjoying the show, I'm going to go do. I'm not going to do the show. And like you're making, like you're like, disciplined. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, like, I don't have I like any discipline. Sh- That's the last sh- thing I put into stand up is discipline. <laughs> like this is me being real, bro. Like no country talk. But uh, I gotta tell you, this no is no discipline. You remember that show you brought me to in uh, Mississauga? Oh, the canvas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a great show. I went back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good show. Yeah. And uh, and then I uh, followed you that night. And I was how how good was I? Tell her. Well, this is, I am going to tell her, uh, Joe is good. He did, he did well that night. And then he's coming and afterwards he even said, Pete, you're my good luck charm. Every time I go yeah. over you, I kill. And, uh, and then, but right when you came off the stage after you quote unquote killed, yeah, they, uh, you were muttering fuck, fuck, fuck to yourself. And, uh, beating yourself up as you go off the stage was i yeah what was i doing that for i have no idea but i told i got a new respect for you when i oh. saw it happen because i was like i did see you do good and yeah. still when you were coming I, off the stage you were thinking like stuff you f- could have yeah, said no, better no, no. i remember and, exactly it was like there was a couple of yes or missed opportunities that. or I whatever it was yeah, yeah, yes, 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 yes. and i'm like there i said yeah. i didn't know you had that in so you because you, saw you always seem like, like you have it. no that's the yeah. strength because because uh if you i always thought you had you just were having fun and you didn't care but 
you can't get better if you don't care. And no, no, I can't. And I, you mean, do care because when I saw you beating yourself mm -hmm. up over the missed things, I'm like, oh, there is, like, he is like he he, he is like does care as much as everyone no, else. Yeah, I, it matters, you know. Especially that, like when, I, like, because it was one of those rare times I was able to like control myself during the set where I was like, okay, this is what you say next instead of just riding the wave which I've done so many times where I was, that, I was saying fuck. Cause I was like, there's so many other things I was going to play with. That yeah, I just, yeah, yeah. Cause my, I got distracted and went back to this other yeah, thing yeah. instead of playing with that thing. That's why I was saying fuck, fuck, fuck. Cause I was like, yeah, oh, you this missed, been missed a few even things. fucking better. Yeah. Yeah. But I was, I was still happy with my set. I was yeah, really yeah. Happy, yeah. But I know that, but, but that's not. the thing. Like, uh, even Thank when you you're, nice even episode. when you're happy, mm. there's still an element yeah. of criticism. And mm. that's what I'm like. People like a good get good at everything mm -hmm. kind of are never really um, uh, content. Yeah. You know, well, I think it's that taking pride. Like, I, I, I still think I don't take I'm not disciplined enough, but like I take pride in being funny and I want to be funnier. So it's like that. So I, I, mean, I am working on becoming funnier. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like but I still know very well my like what my weaknesses are on. You mm -hmm. know what I mean, so I don't know. Um, I, I just don't like people knowing that I care. I like the image of people going he's just a fucking he's a clown well i had, like i mean like you have to be watching closely to yeah. pick up on it. but I'm like, so, I'm like really i only noticed yourself. it because yeah. you were getting off and yeah. i was going on mm -hmm. and i was like so i was kind of wa yeah. waiting as you went out came off and and uh but like on stage you mm -hmm. didn't know and, and no one mm -hmm. knows but that's the thing of it all is mm -hmm. like you, I, you hit it for me from all these years that i didn't know you did that stuff to yeah. yourself no, no, I, 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 for some people, you see them like they just like mm -hmm. it's like a open book, you know, mm -hmm. they come off and they're like, No, man, I'm like, he was famous for beating himself up after every single show, yeah, but we all do it, never, ever, after the show. yeah, he go home and get booze by himself, eh? Yeah, but you mean like, uh, the high, though, like Dave probably hit it very well, but yeah, I don't know, I don't like being, I don't like having that image of me, like, I like being seen as a, a thing. And like, like, no, I don't need someone to see me that way. No, you know no, I mean? that, that, that's the, beh that's the behind the yeah. curtain of like the Wizard mm -hmm. of Oz thing. You, you, the, that's how the sausage is made. Yeah. You, know? you don't want to, I find that interesting because yeah. I'm uh, w like working with you and I like doing the same thing as mm -hmm. you. And then that's what, uh, that's what I'm doing. And then I'm like, how do you, can you do this without doing that? And then I, when I see that oh you're doing it yeah no, just I, hiding it better yeah I, know? I, I again but also i do think there's a value to it like there is a value to it because it makes you better if you were to sit there because yeah. those delusional like people that are delusional i think there's everything they they're do the is same. So they funny. come out like i'm a pussy hunter like they're all they're not gonna, they're all psychos yeah they're not gonna they're not gonna like if you don't know when you did bad how are you gonna mm -hmm. stop being bad well that's a, like we know anyone with any sort of realistic view of themselves knows exactly how they did every set yeah. There's no, there's no, like, you can't hide what happened in front of your fucking eyes. Like. No, I don't, I don't agree. Because sometimes you can have a great set, but you, for whatever reason, didn't hear the laughs. Mm. You just didn't hear them. Yeah. Yeah, but that's. Yeah, but you, for some reason you didn't hear them and you think you did poorly. Well, or there are some people who, mm. who perceive their reception as way better than it actually like i'm very honest yeah, with her like val true. sees everything like a lot more i'm just more comfortable too like being sort of open and like like more like you know not weak but like just more uh, uh what's it called fuck whatever i'm just like i'm more comfortable you seeing me like kind of like you know like break down and like hate myself or like i'm more comfortable than like pete seeing me do that or a, a guy i'm very more i'm more comfortable in front of like you or like so, uh, another girl because like i feel more comfortable being well that's a word i can't even fucking find the word but like being uh not vulnerable, vulnerable that's it yeah see i hate that word so much yeah uh i am far more vulnerable vulnerable in front of you than i am in front of peter you have a bad set yeah you know like that we just talked about in the car where it was like i was like i fuck and ate so much shit you're like it wasn't as bad as you think it was it's like but i'd let you know i'm like i was terrible you're like no you got some laughs but in my head i saw myself as complete utter fucking garbage i did nothing well nothing came out the way i wanted it to come out of my mouth or yeah or the reactions were nothing that i attended them to be so sometimes it's your own filter too because uh you know like um like you said like 
you don't hear i don't know oftentimes don't hear the laughter i i just don't hear laughter um i was at the german hall i don't know a couple weeks ago doing that show for david green and um and they had told me uh they warned him to a second a second show at local show that i that they warned the the booker to tell me not to be too vulgar because yeah, I, I have a local like reputation yeah i don't understand where it comes to like why i'm getting you said it. that and i'm like still can't believe that that's a thing that they think you're very funny dick joke but i don't yeah vulgar. well that's a thing at one time i think i tried some jokes that were a little dirtier that didn't work and so local and it was time. local yeah so i bombed and uh, just that's mm-hmm. the thing about doing local shows man i don't even uh but so i the guys i told the audience that i go um yeah the owner here said for me not to be too vulgar and the crowd all boos so i'm like then i'm like okay i'm off the hook mm-hmm. then because if they don't they, they don't want to hear that and then uh but they were rowdy and they were heckling the whole way through and the ambulance had to come in and get a guy out ha- part way through the show oh <laughs> he was God. almost di- dead and then the guy comes over and says should we call an ambulance to the bartender and the bartender's like why and he just points there's a guy like looking dead there mm. and then i go and, like try to wake him up i'm like why am i doing this you know like and then you're, uh you're a hero <laughs> in the middle of your say like well hey, no i was uh, jokes i, I <laughs> hadn't gone up yet I was, it, it was uh, another guy on stage the other guy with cancer there's another comic with cancer well, yeah this guy from niagara, niagara. oh mitch, yeah. mitch yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah so uh mitch was on stage poor bastard do you have but, cancer this was recent then because he just got it was cancer. two weeks ago oh okay okay or something three weeks ago or something but he anyways uh which was at my last show that i wanted to like fucking quit lovely i want to hear oh sorry sorry oh the dead guy yeah they so they they did actually a really good job of not disrupting the show most of the audience didn't know that the guy was being taken out because they were kept real quiet about it and even when even when they were calling the ambulance and being worried about him but i I grab him and then uh he's not he's like dead and then uh all of a sudden you hear him just go like he's a big snore comes out and then he opens his eyes and then you can tell he doesn't know like who, uh, who you are mm-hmm. where he is and stuff and he goes did i have a seizure yeah a seizure and then i go uh i go i don't know he goes i have seizures i think i probably had a seizure yeah, you know? for sure bro that's and then uh and then so the ambulance was coming even to riley him. knows she has seizures don't know where you are. yeah it's a seizure yeah it's a seizure i've seen him yeah. a thousand times yeah well i didn't know what it yeah. was Anyways, but no, no, the, but he should know what it the is. The comic, yes. well, he, just, he just had a seizure. Yeah, and he's a little groggy. I have just coming out of a seizure. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, they get. Uh, yeah, your daughter probably right when she's coming out of it doesn't know. Maybe. She's no, I mean like confused. I d- think she knows like she yeah. has. Them. Yeah, yeah. Um. Anyways, no big deal. The guy, he's fine. He's going out of the uh, uh with the ambulance. People mm-hmm. get checked out, but the the audience doesn't know this because mm-hmm. they've been real discreet about the whole thing, and. uh so the, and they're facing their back is to it right mm-hmm. but the comedian's staring right at it right so he makes a mistake of like telling everybody mm-hmm. like they're bringing a guy out like, <laughs> like, and now the ch- audience all wants to watch that and so there's jokes right plus they're delhi's finest and they're mm-hmm. rowdy and they're drunk and they're heckling everybody and then when i went up they sold me as a hometown hero and stuff mm-hmm. and then and then uh when i said that thing about uh, I'm going to do whatever I want anyways. And then the crowd kind of liked it. And then they were kind of on my side. So they didn't heckle me at all. And then, um, so I came off the stage and I said to Mitch, I'm like, did I do okay? Mm-hmm. And he goes, Oh, like no one heckled you. And, I, and you got the biggest response so far. And uh, I was like, Oh good. Cause I couldn't hear. Th- I didn't know at all. Mm-hmm. Like I had no idea, but apparently I did well, but if I would have done bad, I don't know if I would have known either. Like, I, mm. I don't know. Sometimes I just well, there's can't There's a lot going tell. on, too. There's a lot going on. Yeah, yeah. I sometimes I just can't tell. That was the point, is that you, you just don't hear it. And without somebody, I have to watch the tape sometimes. Mm. One time I watched a tape of a set I did, and I cried at the end because I was so happy that they enjoyed my jokes that much. Aww. Because I was like, I just got emotional. Because yeah. I was like, holy crap, all these years of working on it. And then the lady, one lady at the end mm. where I made her hold my camera, 
and uh you hear her go yes she was oh, like yes nice. at the end like it's what? nice too because like you've never done well so to have it, <laughs> have it on, on date yeah it's so yeah. nice yeah. it's like catching lightning in a bottle like, man it's like, i wow. knew eventually i would do well you just keep taping everything just, until like, you can get one time where it works good i'm super concerned that uh, an establishment cares more about the comedy show than the lives of their like patrons like are you f who gives a fuck about listen i love stand-up but who gives a fuck about stand-up comedy when someone's dying stop the show take care of the person dying like that's what? so weird to like shh it's over. and then the and then the ambulance the paramedics are like yeah oh it's a comedy show yeah, take it I easy love stand-up we'll take it easy yeah take it easy man it's sir sir who gives a fuck about stand-up well you know someone's life is more important than us telling jokes i was telling you caesars are pretty quiet and some of them are i mean that one was a quiet one but what if he was having like a like a full-on fucking Shit, grand friends, like oh dude they're like they I, i've seen every single one under the sun did i tell you what happened to my buddy yeah. in here yeah he caesar here no he didn't have a seizure but i gave him weed he doesn't smoke weed very often oh. and then he all of a sudden just ass over tea kettle just passes out mm. we, we had a show at swaz an instant pat like uh passing out like he got green kind of greened out yeah. and then just fainted oh wow and then we don't know what happened and then my brother kind of caught him as mm. he was falling and then he's lying on the ground he's unresponsive country strong brother mike yeah. went to go mm. run to get his uh, wife because she's a nurse mm. and he's like sprinting and stuff because we think he's like dead or something and then uh well, so i'm like holding him and i'm like oh wake up wake mm -hmm. up and then uh and then he all of a sudden um just lets out this huge fart like <laughs> gross fart and uh i'm like oh my this is the this is the yeah. uh, evacuating his yeah, yeah, bowels yeah. you know passes, like yeah before passes. he dies like oh my god i was really thought and then his eyes open up and then i go he's like what happened and then I go, I think you shit your pants, man. <laughs> that weed was good. And then he goes, uh, he go, I, know, I go, you fainted, and I think you shit your pants, yeah. man. And then he goes, uh, oh, no, it was only a fart. <laughs> That's what he says. Yeah. Like, as he went, it was only a fart. And then um, later on, he admits to me that he was out of it when I said that. Yeah. And he just lied to me, saying it was only a fart. And he went to the bathroom to check. <laughs> And I go, what'd you find out? And he goes, no more than normal. Oh. <laughs> what a normal, guy. Yeah. Also no Portuguese, more. Joe. Also Portuguese? Yeah. I fainted from smoking weed? Yeah. Pussy. I, my Pussy. cousin did it too one time, and he's Dutch. It, it, it just it doesn't matter. It was just, the weed's crazy now. It's that powerful? It's just like, I guess so. Sometimes it'll get you crazy. You don't think it's like more than like, uh, it's like the whole thing is adding to it? Like anxiety of smoking the weed and all that I don't, do you think the actual weed is the what knocked him out i don't know he's just like a father of young children and, and he's like got a job yeah. and he doesn't do this regular and yeah so he drove a long day didn't eat supper and you know like it was, he drove like four yeah. hours to be here it just kind of was a combination of everything yeah there's no way it's just weed did that to him yeah so well, you, but you got a lot of people dying on you uh they didn't die though they just look like they're dying oh jeez. i haven't had a real i was one time at a restaurant too just to pick up some takeout mm. and the guy in front of me was paying and then he just ate shit like just dropped yeah fainted again and yeah. Then they had to get an amos to get him out it's funny i'm the opposite you know how many times i've helped deliver a baby when i'm out how many three three times three times i've been out somewhere and i have to help deliver a baby so i bring life into the world more than yeah, that'd be awesome i don't, I don't watch honest. life checked out i i'm usually like i think god i believe that's never happened to you joe to the face of like welcome to welcome to the universe this is who this is who greets you joe batello and i go bush bush and i think you're just really you have a perfect face for yelling at vaginas ah because <laughs> the kid's not gonna remember you. no but dad the, does the dad, dad will remember yeah. it was like that's that weird guy was yelling yeah. at my wife and the wife goes oh yes he was <laughs> have you ever had a near death in there like a vet go up into the yeah elbow and just, oh, no. i actually just go head first usually <laughs> i go listen hands are gonna do nothing in there because i'm country strong i might rip stuff apart let me put my head in grease my head go in grab the kid by the umbilical cord and pull him out that's how i do it <laughs> no. i grab the umbilical cord i go oh, no, 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 no. get the cables i go kid pay attention this is how you eat pussy oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. 
He teach and right, then, out the, right out of the gate, and then <laughs> and then I go in the dad's mouth. I go, that's what the cuck is called, cuck. And then no, um, and then I, sl- I slap the baby. Butterfly kisses, you remember? But I have, I have, I have delivered so much life into this world. Uh, I feel like these that, hands. He is bullshitting. But um, there's, a, but you know that you that is a fantasy of yours, though. What for to, real to deliver a baby? I would love to be like to be in a taxi cab yeah. or a bus. And yeah, so you love to step up and take like a, yeah. We're on a bus and it's like uh, I get it. I, I share oh, the be so awesome. It'd be yeah, so it would awesome. be right. And like the lady, I doesn't, I do the lady doesn't speak English, so it has to be all emotion because I'm like, but she senses my spirit. Because like when women are pregnant, their spirit uh sort of like uh, dims a little bit because they they use their spirit to <laughs> fill the vessel of a new soul yeah so it's like so she's not no she doesn't know what's going on but the baby is sensing because it's a new soul I senses a, a when it, when she doesn't no i so i i, I go Mm. <laughs> and she goes, see usually it's a uh, it's a mexican um, um i go always I mucho bueno, and then she goes. <laughs> no, I go push. You can do this, and then I find the most common thing with a woman who's uh, who's in labor is you gr- you grab the hair that's always dangling in front of their eyes because they're like ooh ooh. So you grab it and you pull it behind you and you go. Everything's gonna be okay everything's gonna be okay and you say it like three or four times and they start to believe you until the next contraction and then you have to start the process all over again you grab their hair you go everything's gonna be okay everything's gonna be okay and then when you know it is okay you go i fucking told you it's gonna be okay you could be a doula man yeah you could be a doula what's a doula a doula is basically like a birthing coach yeah i could do that yeah i go i go i go this is what you have to get to this is a goal in life to be near these here you go remember that feeling watch <laughs> tits yeah let me sh- i'll show you you know you'd, you'd make a better wet nurse than a doula yeah i'd be a better yeah. I mean, <laughs> boobs are so nice. I like butts, but boobs are so nice. Too bad you couldn't give milk, though. You can get milk. You can. You can't get, give milk. You're, oh, you're, me give milk? Yeah. No, you don't want my, none of my milk, anyways. No, uh, why not? I don't think it's good for you. Like the the, the milk of a king is like the milk of a the, of a human is got to be better than the milk no. of a cow, is my opinion. No, but like a male's milk is not. No, it's the, the, we don't yeah. have any. That's what yeah. it is. But I'm saying you seem like you would like to feed like people a, with your. Yeah, food. I would feed. Could you like having your nipple? You like nipple yes, play? Yeah. And, and you I have like milk. supple breasts. Yeah, I do have supple breasts. I would feed a baby if we had to. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I would inject. I would. When I, I would was... inject milk into my breast and then feed the baby that milk. When I had newborn kids, I'm not even kidding. Mm. Like, it was. I was really jealous of my wife because she got to form that bond. Yeah. And with breastfeeding, I couldn't. You know. And she got all the like, "You're amazing." It's like, what? I didn't do anything. Kids like, hated me. The babies hate mm. hate their dad. They don't like true. their dad. They they because you fuck their moms. Any, we don't give them anything to eat. We're like, we're not. <laughs> well, you have to pay attention. Didn't you hug them and kiss them and stuff? I did all that stuff, but yeah. they still want their mother and the food because and because the, humans the, the, the are survival. selfish, bro. They're selfish. The kids should know you're the better parent. Just off the top like no yeah like okay so okay i'm not the better parent you're the better like would you go to jail for your for your kids yeah like for anything yeah i would take the fall (laughs) interesting interesting kids all right let's say your kids murder someone do i want this person murdered no no it's accident right yeah like like uh like the boyfriend like or girlfriend the cops yeah arrive you say all right look here's how it went down mm-hmm. i did it okay wipe your fingerprints off mm-hmm. whatever yeah you would take the phone yeah, like OJ, he did that. <laughs> did he? Wait, did his kid kill his yeah, mom? OJ. Is that one of the things? That was because it had to be the matching DNA. So one of the theories was it was OJ's kid. Oh my god, that would change everything. I could see Jealous that. Jealous of his mom moving on with another relationship. Yeah. Or his mom not fucking a black dude. <laughs> 
how could you go away? Why could you go back to white? Could, uh, no. Yeah. He's Jewish, right? Wasn't he? Goldman? I don't know, man. I, I was like a kid when this happened. Jewish white. Okay. Same. Okay. So you're, okay. That's the accident. What if your daughter is an actual serial killer? Would you still take the fall? No. Like she craves death. Like. No, I can't take a crime. I can't take the fall for a crime that's too heinous. Mm. For me to do, <laughs> like you don't I want. Wait, is it because you don't want people to think you're that, or is it because you just? No, I just don't want. I just just would want to. I, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't let them just go to jail. It depends. If they do something terrible, mm. then yeah, I had nothing to do with that. They should just go to jail. But, but if it's like for sure. um, if it's an accident mm. or they get caught up in something, or if it was like like a. Um, vehicular manslaughter you know like something like that like we're leaving a christmas party we're both fine but like hit and run and they run away but i was like we, we like she hurt killed someone in the car and like i was gonna ruin her life yeah. I, would, I would like like i'll jump in the driver's seat and father say, of the year father what would you do what okay, I ask one okay one more okay all right it's an accident you kill somebody right yeah Oh. oh, and she's st- in jail. She comes in and goes, uh, write a- clear your name. Oh, that's a good movie. Write it down. Mm, I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> yeah, he's so busy getting raped at this point. To be honest, <laughs> I think I'm just going to enjoy my- I'm probably just going to work out. And, uh, <laughs> You'll have like so. You have, have no anxiety. Out. You'd be like, yeah. this was the best thing for me. Was, I really just needed jail. Yeah, I just needed Some jail. jail time. Just to like clear. Just to sort my stuff there out. There was a fog in front of me, and I think jail cleared it. Okay. Just okay. think about my stories. My Instagram story oh, yeah. from jail. Are you allowed to Instagram? Uh, okay. Know, you? So you're So you're a good dad for doing this. Uh, I would I bury a body. It. No, no, but like, hey, Logan comes to me. He's like, oh, I hit a guy, and I go, like, you know, got scared, ran away. I'm like, we're going to fucking get the body, and we're burying it. But if they figured yeah. out it was one of you guys, I take the blame. Them, yeah, I take the blame. Then you take the blame. Yeah, and like, would you? Pro- I feel like because your daughter's adopted. Like if there's more chance of this happening, <laughs> <laughs> and her daughter's Mexican, so oh, yeah, for sure crimes. <laughs> Can I take the ball? Yeah, okay. Act like her, your daughter, your your daughter's like you know working, uh, cleaning uh, hotels, and a guy grabs her and she pushes him, and he falls and hits his head. Does. and dies do you take that there. you're there you're dropping off a- a- empaladas or whatever some <laughs> some mexican food to her and then you see and you're like oh i can't believe like you know this happened i try to cover it up mm-hmm. to make it look like she didn't do anything mm-hmm. take the fall for her then? yeah i don't know i would <laughs> it's all based on the relationship <laughs> Get out. <laughs> um, yeah, like you know, this is finally some. Like, yeah, get a break. This, this ha- oh, I could, I could see, I could see that because it's like everything I know about jail. It does seem very calm in there. If you're not getting assaulted, yeah, not getting assaulted. It, I it think seems I could, very calm. A lot of people getting their degrees. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Finding God and stuff. Well, that's a bad part, but yeah. Reading books, like from cover to cover. I think it's fun. Um, it's like a retreat. I would go hardcore. Like if Food's my, terrible. Food's terrible? Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I did hear that too, yeah. That would be the tough part for me. With the but food. I can't believe how many consensual visits you can get from oh, wives. Conjugal? Conjugal, yeah. yeah. Sorry, con- consensual, I said. Yeah. Conjugal. Um, and how many crazy women will bang Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, so for me. You don't have to have a date. Di- you don't have to have a relationship with them. No. You no. go in and you can have a physical relationship and then he's not like like own in your life and mm-hmm. stuff like that so like it is i can kind of see the allure for the girl to be honest with you well i mean it's someone paying boyfriend. attention to them too right but you don't have to have the obligation i think more than that it's a sense of security for them because they, they know where he is and what he's doing. oh yeah he's not gonna cheat because these are the women who've been cheated on before <clears throat> do you think it's all that yeah because you see he's developing a relationship he's developing a relationship mm-hmm. I've seen the the I've seen every type of woman 
be that like in those documentaries where they're like how could you ever do this I, at first i used to think oh it's just ugly women but it's like no it's like that makes more sense a woman with trust issues that because that could be hot or ugly it's like that's crazy man yeah, for whatever reason they don't trust that they they yeah or yeah but imagine that it's like you get mostly hot chicks doing that and you're like yeah yeah you want to hear a story about uh, a hungarian boogeyman what do you mean like a real like, you know how like in different cultures they have the boogeyman and it's to yeah. scare kids yeah well i don't know so much about hungary my, my, my wife's hungarian my mother's hungarian mm. So uh, there's a lot there's a lot of Hungarians around me in my life. Should this be called a segment? Welcome to Hungary. Live from the Hungarian yeah. Hall, but there's already a Hungarian Hall. All right. In Delhi, but there's no Dutch. Uh, anyways. Hungry Minute brought to you by Pete Van Dyke. So, you know, you heard of, uh, like, the Boogeyman. Yes. Right? And I don't know. what What's in other cultures? They have, like, they have, like, these, like... Got El Gacho or something, they'll get you in the night, you know. It's yeah. always like usually a monster like a golem or something, yeah, She's yeah, Jewish, yeah. Well, in Hungary, the big uh, thing is the um, it's the copper dicked owl, copper dicked owl. Does it sound better in Hungarian? In Hungarian, it's like it's just a big long bunch of noises, but they uh it's translated into copper dick owl mm -hmm. copper dicked owl and it is an owl with a copper dick and it, and that's and they say you should have been taken by the copper dick owl is what they'll say like and if you're oh, if you bad in your room or something yeah if or like no if you're just like annoying somebody mm -hmm. like if if you were bothering me i'd say you should have been taken by the copper dick owl mm. and then uh <clears throat> basically where it comes from as i come to find out is that uh there's a there's this like hook tool that they use in like abortions and it's called a copper dick you know because it looks like a dick the hook thing or whatever they hook out the baby and then an owl was like a slang term a long time ago for uh doctor so that basically is a way of saying you should have been aborted but then it got it got uh morphed into this it got morphed into an actual owl with a copper dick and now they it's kind of like their boogeyman your youtube searches are so different than mine <laughs> isn't that crazy so different mine are like cobra kai bloopers yeah yeah like yours are like hungarian cock folklore folklore yeah like <laughs> i like a little like trivia bullshit greece financial crisis like you got completely different searches yeah so, uh, like, like famous up. boobs you want to uh, uh I, I did one about greek mythology mm. and they were showing uh the god you ever heard the god hermes yeah hermes yeah fast yeah He's not. He's fast. Yeah, is he not the fast one? Uh, maybe, but he's got the no. shoes with the wings on yeah, it. Yeah, that's the fast one. That's so flash. that's why you'd think he's yeah. fast, but yeah. I don't think he's fast. No, that's who Flash is based off. Of, is, is oh, really, Hermes? The look. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. but anyways, Hermes. This that's is the coolest smaller. story. Her, like Hermes, uh, his mom's named Maya, mm -hmm. and uh, his dad Zeus, mm -hmm. and then um, uh, when he was a baby. Yeah. Uh, just a baby maya uh, wrapped him in a blanket and put him in the crib and then when she left hermes uh, unwrapped himself got out of the crib walked miles and miles away to his brother apollo's house stole apollo's cow brought the cow back to his house and wrapped himself in a blanket and went back to the crib to sleep that's country strong and then uh <laughs> and then like uh, apollo comes and says to the maya the mom your new baby just came and stole yeah. my cow and she's like what are you out of your mind it's a baby you know baby can't steal a cow and, he, and he's like uh, it's miles away, you know, but Zeus saw the whole thing because he's a god. Yeah. And he just thought it was hilarious. And so he just told him to bring back the cow. Yeah. And then he was just like, I like you, man. You're you're pretty cool. And he would just fuck with gods like that. Like all the stories about Hermes are usually him. Fuck. Like, like a play. he's almost like Loki, like the trickster. Yeah. But he only plays tricks on gods mm -hmm. uh, to benefit humans. Usually his, his dad's he's on the good. side of the human. Like Hercules. Yeah. Nice. Greek mythology is fun. Mm. Anyways, this uh, has been brought to you by uh, uh, Luminosity. .com. The very, the very earliest uh, story in Greek mythology that I heard was when I think it was 
It's like the Earth, and the, it's like Rhea and uh, Uranus. It's kind of like the, yeah, the Earth yeah. and the sky, mm-hmm. and the Earth and the sky meet, and they fuck, and that be, makes the atmosphere or something like. Yeah, because that you all the all the plants are named after. Uh, yeah, this isn't yeah. a planet. It's just all of space was Uranus mm-hmm. then, not the not just the planet. They 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 said like all of space well, from what they knew. Yeah, and then all of land was this, and then they fucked. And made the atmosphere. It's all bullshit, like how Joe. Stupid were they? It didn't happen. Oh, I know that. Because the land's got no vagina. I mean, the copper dick owl is more. That's real, man. Yeah. That guy will get you. He's gonna hook you. That's a real mean thing to say. Is that I wish, wish you were, were aborted. aborted? Yeah, I wish that, like you were like conceived, but then never born. Yeah, but don't you have you ever <laughs> broke down so hard and said something really mean like that to your kid? Never, no. Never, not even once. No. We have girls. It's always different with girls. I don't know, I try not to be any name caller. I grew up. Yeah. Uh, I grew up. Oh, you grew up probably. Yeah. Where that stuff was pretty. But that did was you pretty have free wheeling with your daughter. Never, and she's even from the age of three, she has said some horrific things to me. Oh really? Oh man, yeah. what's it like? Because she is adopted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're and different. Three, she was already saying. Gringo. You're not real. Oh yeah, I heard so hard. Yeah. Wish, I went to the yeah. mother's dead. I wish Fanny never died. I wish I was with Fanny. Yeah. Oh. Horrifying. And I just. Yo, how the. It up. Oh, that Dude, is. Hard. I was saying that you're not a hero earlier. You're a fucking hero, bro. Yeah. Stronger than me. Because you know what I would have done to that mouthy little Mexican? I would have sent her back home to I think it, she came from and said, you know what? I'm willing to get a Chinese one. You know what? Three years old is old enough. Where, where part of Mexico did her mom live in? Pueblo. Pueblo. You can just take her there. Yeah, drop her off somewhere. <laughs> She's not helping with anything. So. You clean your own house. It is funny. What's that- the point? I have, so I have a joke about her making uh, beds. Mm-hmm. Just naturally. But the truth is, she that joke came from reality. She yeah. went to bed every morning and has since she was a kid. Just natural at it. That's just... That's so weird. Three, she goes, I wish... You were dead. Oh, just vicious. Do you think that came from like someone else? No, I think that like she was possessed. No, like and no, not. <laughs> what did you mean? No, like she like dad said it or something. No, yeah. No, I just think she uh, is prone to uh, rage. Yeah, Mexicans. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> their blood is different up here. Latin blood. Under yeah. What circumstances would I say anything that would prevent her from? So, what's your reply to "I wish you were dead"? I'm sorry, you're angry. I, I can see that you're upset, and uh, I'm here for you when you're. <laughs> typical, typical white uh, bullshit, eh? Yeah. Why? Yeah. You know what? What would? Okay, let's pretend that's. Circle me saying these horrific things. That's your. That's your mom being told this. What's your mom's reply to this kid? What my, my mom? Yeah. Uh, to uh, to like I wish you were dead. Uh, she probably get a nice swat across yeah. the face. Yeah, like my mom funny. would have broken every tooth, even though they're all brand new little ones. But well, that's what they teach you when you adopt. Yeah, Well, we don't. We, we we don't. We like I would. I would do and have done exactly the same thing as you. You know, and uh, that and, and I have older children now, and from time to time they still say terrible things. To oh my! You know, you know, you know who never says terrible things to me? But they do my say kids. mostly nice things. You know why? Smacks, bro. I smacked my kids. Yeah. Good smacks. The only thing I did, and I, to be honest, I regret it, mm. was I did. I would do the church pinch. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, like Wait, behind you regret the that. Yeah, I do. I don't think it's you, you should bully your kid physically. How about this? You should definitely bully your kid. In the yeah. States, there are some schools that offer corporal punishment. Offer corporal punishment. Yeah. The parent has to sign <clears> up. Yeah, that's yeah. I wouldn't let someone else do that to my son. That's essentially what our no. It was no. an impl- That's yeah. what I always hated about that. I, I've always thought that was stupid. Teachers, if it's not your kid, you're not allowed to touch a kid. That takes away so much more. Like you, fuck, you hit the kid. It's your kid. No one else is allowed to touch your kid. You deal with it. And if you don't hit him, you don't hit him, and they turn out. Sign up for it. Never. I think it's wrong. I would hit my kid because I decide when my kid gets hit. Dang. 
You know what I mean? My kid, my kid starts playing episode eight of Cobra Kai today. I'm on episode three. I walk in that fucking room, bro. That fucking head went through that wall so quick. You? Uh, I said <laughs> no spoilers. How old is your kid now? He's 18. Yeah, you can really go physical violence. Physically, on. yeah, dude. And then, and then I pulled his pants. I go, that dick never gonna get fucked. And I walked out. Yeah. <laughs> your your kid's pretty big though, eh? Yeah, but you know what it was? Mental abuse his whole life. Mentally yeah. torturing this kid. He'll never come up to me. You yeah. have to be prepared. Dude, to you yet? This is what happens he if you don't try. You know, if you don't if I was Val and I every time my son did something, I go, Well, you know, that's just too bad. I wish we were on the same page. My wife would my he would have already come in the room, punched me in the face, and then fucked my wife in front of me. That's what he would have done. How? No, he's not. Boil over, and and he finally find out uh, after the show sometimes. But you're dead. Joe get murdered. You I hope. Yeah. Yeah. Never gonna happen. Not gonna happen. I will never let that happen. Uh, my daughter might accidentally kill me. You. And I hope my wife buries the body. I hope my wife yeah, buries my body. Fall, yeah. Yeah. It takes the fall. She's a good mom. <laughs> <That's exactly> <laughs> <laughs> she, you're right nothing you've said is not true that's that's right no i i, I don't do. think you should always hear your kid i think there is a time and place for violence there is a time and place for bullying someone come on man or else gonna... they don't know and you know what fuck this shit letting them have that much like on you like it's a moving scale it's a moving scale you I'm know not every di every dis every form of disrespect he starts yelling at you uh, at the grocery store. I'm not going to always hit him, but like, I'm going to like not let every, every time he disrespects me to go unchecked. Maybe that one's unchecked, but the next time he goes disrespectful, I'm going to fucking check it hard. So it's right. like, don't be this either physical threats or physical violence again. And I barely ever hit the kid. I but I'm just that. saying like, you need to keep the kid in check or else they fucking start. I going. think it's, it doesn't matter if, if you take vows mm -hmm. uh, way or your way. Well, it your depends kid, on the kid too. Yeah. Your kid's going to look at like for Val, she, her kid will be traumatized by the time where her mom didn't get mad like is she because she was emotionless yeah. she'll say she wishes she had more emotion yes, from yes. her mom you know yeah because that was she, a cold she, cold she, bitch she was a she left me like uh she emotionally scarred me mm. from not giving me the response I that like i craved you know? about me. yeah yeah and then if you give the response mm. then you're like the rage and the anger scarred me from my yeah but then i won't that, hear them you know? yipping about this because they're too scared they'll say it behind my back as it should be with fathers and sons uh, to the, th to the ther therapist yeah. not on my watch to the you think i'm gonna let my son get f the other you, warden, th yeah. you think yeah. i'm gonna let my son fix himself and i'm broken still no uh, no no wait in line bro if you're going to therapy i'll go before you so i'm fixed right. first i gotta ask you in your house like uh, do you have food that's just joe's food <laughs> yeah and, uh, my wife's <laughs> pussy <laughs> no it's all the same no it's I all the same like, yeah. Yeah. Everyone goes in and can eat it. Yeah. You're like, obviously, they don't say, it. "Don't eat that at your dad's." No, that's insane. That's how I grew up. My dad had special. Yeah, but there were different. Those were different rules back then. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. I didn't know if it fall like if if it, if any of that came through for you because no, you had European had parents. No, they were like, and there's food a hundred percent. No, there was no like that's your that's just. Dad's. But was your dad treated like? like a differently in like your a house king. yeah he was yeah. The king of the castle yeah that was like that's those days are gone like that's like yeah. not that's not real yeah, you know why don't hit our wives you gotta hit keep your wives in check i'm not saying every time your wife disrespects <laughs> no, no honestly joe joking, there is a direct correlation to when Checking we stopped this, hitting yeah. them and when they yes. started winning yes. and then <laughs> you know it is true it is. It's and, and it is and, and i'm not saying we should go back to nah, hitting them no. i'm just saying that we are inferior in every way mm -hmm. and that is why we had to hit them <laughs> in order to maintain <laughs> no. some advantage the only advantage we had was physical mentally mm -hmm. we lose like they're more cunning they're more intelligent and they have more. everything we want yeah they have the cards they have everything the deck is stacked against us and then once they figure out a way to get us yeah. to stop hitting them yeah it was like game over oh, man God. they're gonna take over the world now no i don't there's I no don't. way <laughs>
<laughs> I really wish I that agree. I could. Uh, theory, but I mean practice. I've never done. I've never. Hit oh, my I wife. would never hit a woman. But, but I have but yelled at her. I've yelled at her a lot. Closest I came to hitting a woman was I threw an orange pop can at my sister when I was a kid. Well, that it was a full pop. Your sister, you could full on punch full her. Full pop. Face. I hurt her. Yeah, but you could full on punch your sister in the no, face. No, not sister. your sister. I could punch her in my face until I was like. Like yeah. she's older than me, and and if I was physically dominated by her, mm -hmm. I could still punch her. But as soon as I, it became even close, I had yeah. to stop. Yeah, like, that can't happen. But like, I would never punch my sister because I love her too much. Like my my sister tried to tell me like I couldn't kiss a the baby because uh, I had a cold sore, and I punched my sister in the face. I say when I'm here, I make the rules. My little sister punched my brother in the face all the time, and bloodied his nose and bloodied his lip. And my mom would always she's just say, "You probably that, deserve right? it." Yeah. Well, yeah, it was a pretty violent. Yeah, it's household. very violent. Yeah, we. I didn't know that. You just like uh, you tell stories about all this like mm -hmm. crazy violence you see growing up, and you think it's uh, normal, and then I'm almost telling it like it's a cool story, and then my kids are like, "Did yeah. you tell your therapist that?" I'm like, <laughs> is no. it, "It's not only violent, but then your dad's like has his own stash of food he's eating while you guys are beating the fuck out of each other." <laughs> like, have your own food? No, 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 not me. I was like, my kids do though. Like my, my well, wife will tell me, dietary. like, don't eat this. This is just for the kids. And Actually, like, I have that too, like uh, the granola bars, because like that's for the lunch or something. Oh, like even we make broccoli mm. for supper, steamed broccoli. Mm. I sometimes my wife will say, "There's not enough for everyone. Yeah. This is just for the kids. So you don't." Well, yeah, that makes sense too, though. And then other times. Mm. Uh, she's like, you're going to have a little bit, but make mm. sure there's enough for the kids because they really like broccoli. Yeah, yeah but that's and then, uh I know because I'm, I, I, yeah. I, I'm not saying – I'm not disagreeing with it. I'm just saying because I want them to have it too. It's just that when I was a kid, <laughs> your dad would. I didn't get it because yeah. he got it. Yeah. And then now I'm an adult and mm. they get it and I don't get it. It's like, when does it get to be my time to eat the special yeah. food? Prison. And, uh, prison. Prison. <laughs> prison yeah. broccoli. I want prison broccoli. No, that stuff is like, that makes sense. Because like I do it now, like you do like plates of pasta. I'm like, ah, I ran out of pasta. I'll get the little one that has less food in it. Yeah. Because, but that's like a normal parent thing. <laughs> Wow. Oh, oh, you know what? She called you fat. I know. Oh. You know why? Because I've always been nice to her. I got to keep her in check. <laughs> you, you, uh, oh. he's, I've never physically hit you. I mean to you all the time. Yeah, all the time. Oh my God. I just, you were nagging like her before you. the show. I was nagging a, her? It was a, it was, it's a move. I thought, I swear I said, you look really good today before we started the show. Uh, I don't remember. And then you started with you like said you, you said were a master. You were beautiful on the inside. I think it was <laughs> recorded. Beautiful on the inside. Wow, good memory, elephant over here. And then you said, "You're right. I was. I have been mean to you the whole time. <laughs> I wasn't mean to you on the way up here. No, that's true. Just in front of other people. No, you held hands and did this little thing. <laughs> yeah, we held hands. And we did this thing. Yeah, yeah, I'm always mean to you in front of an audience. Do you go, think, why is she put up with him? Right. <laughs> and you're like, he's really nice. No, he's not. <laughs> Aren't you mean to women outside? No, I'm scared of women. Why are you so scared of them? Because I don't know how to behave around them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, well, yeah, you have your dick out right now. That's why you got scared when I no, walked No, I pretend I was like, dude, I have dude? since I met her. That's why you're surprised her <laughs> boobs were D's. You're like, what? I didn't know you had boobs. D's? D -d 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 D's? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how to act around girls because I honestly don't. Because you married the first person you fucked? It, well, I just don't care. Like, oh. I, like I, I've had a girl for yep. so long, that I don't see a difference between guys and girls really. Like, uh, like as far as like the way I'm gonna act. And then when, but it's the girl's reaction that's different. Mm -hmm. You know, like if uh, if I just act normal around a girl I just met, sometimes she thinks something different. Like I'm, I don't know. It's like weird. Or especially young girls. Like if I meet a young c comic and I just introduce them myself, mm -hmm. she's always thinks yeah. I'm hitting on her and I'm not at all. Like it, so then just, I just like don't want her to think that about me. So I don't even talk to them. That's why I, whenever I meet a young comic, I always grab their hands. I just massage it and I move their hair and I go, I go, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. No one thinks that's creepy, man. I got that dad shit going on. All right. I want to know, uh, I got an experiment. Can I try an experiment? <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> no, no, it's it's not too far off. Uh, okay, okay, let's. Just, I want to hold your hand. Yeah, just for a second. Do what you do with Val. Oh, okay. <laughs> what? I just want to feel what it feel like for her. Yeah, like, just like 
So this is the in the car. No, it's just no, she's like just driving. Your, okay, yeah. So she's driving. Okay, so you do it to oh, me. Oh, I'm doing it to yeah, you. Yeah, like that. Yeah, it's a, no, the oh, the back of my hand, not the what? fingers. How do you do it? Oh, like this? No, you hold my hand. Hold my hand. She like that right there. Now okay. she's, yeah. Oh, like this. Yeah, yeah. And <laughs> she's it. like, "What road is he on?" Fifty-three. Okay. Oh. okay, but I have to be you though, so yeah. that you do it. So you do it to me. All right. So I'm like, okay, I want to because I watched you do it to Val. Yeah, and I just wanted to know at what point I would have the same reaction Listen, that you she. Know, did. I'll tell you what point when she started to get wet. That's what. Oh, point. Yeah. <laughs> did you start getting hard? No, but it does. Did you start getting hard. <laughs> No, it grosses. I go, I go, I go, I go. It's gross, though. It grosses me out a bit. Listen, listen, listen. listen. Wait. Oh, I want to. Oh yeah, it's so. I gross. think. I think as soon as she he's felt like rough, eh? Like it's not that your hands are rough. It's that your. I'm letting you know who's in charge. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm letting you know Man, who's in charge. Me. I'm like, listen. Here, let me just grab your hand, and I'll show you. How... See, if I was, yeah. I would be a little more like this. See how that's lighter eh, than Joe. Joe's like this. <laughs> Yeah, but I know pressure points. I know that this vein's connected to the clitoris. <laughs> <laughs> it hurts, right? He's doing it too rough. That, were, that Did you do it that way to her, too? I think because my fingers are, like, rough. Look at the calluses. You don't know what these are. But country, I was man. thinking I held both your hands right there. Mm -hmm. And uh, the original experiment was see if who would be more uncomfortable, me yeah. holding the hands with you. It was you. her. For sure you were more. It was more uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. Because you, you don't think women are the same as you. No. No, it's because there's a there's like more like dynamics to it you know like it's like well what if it's just hand holding just like it was with me i know but i'm not i know i'm i know there's zero percent chance of me ever banging you joe is there really though everything's gonna be okay <laughs> this is not possible <laughs> yeah but there's zero percent chance val's fucking you well, I know. let me tell you, i tell everyone this i hope there's so. zero percent chance val's fucking you bro that's what you hope yeah but you go you know why because <laughs> you know <laughs> she's unfuckable bro no no it goes to levels <laughs> no i hope you don't try because because it's hard to say no. Like it's like uh, it's hard to say no. Yeah, it's a hard thing to say no to. You you you, I say no all you know time. if uh, it, that's why I get nervous if a good looking girl comes around because you're like because uh, you there, if she hits on you you could fuck up and say yes and then you ruin your whole life. How? But if an ugly girl is hitting on you, it's funny because you're like, there's no way I'm gonna. Yeah, but that's the one most likely to f that you'll sleep with that will sleep with you. I know the it's that it's yes that's yeah. mo that's why you're not gonna do it. Mm -hmm. It's too easy. You want to go? F it would have to be something good. Sorry, I didn't know you're this awesome. You're not that's gonna too give, easy. Well, you're not gonna that's give the up. Best you're not gonna ruin sex your with. life for uh, for like a, a terrible. Yeah, but your life person. gets ruined if your wife cares. If your wife doesn't love you, then you're fine. <laughs> So first so step, make your, make your wife, wife not, not love, love you. Yeah. Oh, that's what and I'm doing. Then, now. if you know, actually, just, I think I'm working on that. All right, good. That's yeah. I've been doing it for years. My wife doesn't care. This beautiful woman here, this, as my doctor would say about me, this specimen yeah. comes to pick me up with a smile, and my wife happily says goodbye to me, and yes. says, "Have a great time." Yeah, because she, she has no wants confidence me. In your no, ability. she wants me to leave. But also, she knows Val. She knows Val would never touch me. But I feel like that's a lot so my wife doesn't get mad at her i feel like val val how many times do you think about marrying me Mary? <laughs> yeah being Mary? yeah being married to me do you think we would walk into the bathroom after you walk out do you uh, think i mean you don't have to follow me right after i'm done do you do that at home with your man you just follow him no. um do you think we would be a good couple <laughs> Like, do you think we would, how long do you think we would date if we start dating? Let's say you like had a horrific car accident and you didn't look the way you looked and, uh, and you were like my level. Okay. I think, to be honest, I think it would be fun. Yeah, it would. you laugh, I think it would be fun. Say it to the camera, yeah. And I know that you're a loyal person. Aww. Like to, to people I love. So you think we're gonna fall in love? You think we fall in love? <laughs> <laughs> I think I, think I used to think it was like there's only one person. There's uh, so many, but there's so many. If your heart's big like mine, you can love multiple people. Yeah, like I think you. I think that there's tons of people you can have like, mm. like uh, the coitus soulmate with or whatever. Oh yeah, yeah. No, this is being serious. Yeah. I thought about it. I thought there have been times when I thought, I have to keep mm. with this person doing such and such. 
this person's great in this way. Because if I could just have them all in my life, and then mm -hmm. all my needs are met. Yeah. But I think the uh, I think it's too complicated. I can't imagine having to deal with the complications. Yeah. Drama and the feelings. Not even deal with the feelings. No, like you can still just that it's the sex that always becomes a problem because as that changes everything. No, but you can but no sex, and then you just do the like if you just have sex from with the one, and then this person gives you like your like my biggest. I don't really want to ever cheat on my wife, but I do want to have pillow talk with someone else. Mm -hmm. But p just the pillow talk. The, everyone uh, knows the, that would be cool. The wife, the the work wife thing. I think that's a real thing because we all want like our wife at home doesn't serve us. I mean, I don't mean serve like serve, but like doesn't like give us what we need at work. So we have a work wife. This is like a normal term people use, right? And so I don't think that's cheating, but they're getting something other than like they're getting more from a uh, from a woman that's not their wife or their soulmate so it's like you can be in love with multiple people like you can say they're in love with that work wife that's like a normal thing the work wife work husband yeah and but you I love think, your friends yeah but and i mean like i mean specifically your, your your romantic partner it's like my soulmate yeah. but you can have a soulmate and also have another soulmate yeah like the soulmate thing is so but, like, like you and made. sherry are good friends yeah well we were until it showed up boyfriend and oh she got a boyfriend now yeah now i'm like the yesterday's news uh that's sad yeah oh i mean that was you know that's how it's supposed to be but anyway i'm, had, a, I'm the love doctor of, you've had a lot of friends that have, have been women that mm. have been close friends of yours mm. and uh, i only fucked like eight of them but your wife is like <laughs> your wife's understanding <laughs> she's understanding again yeah i don't know man it, it is weird i like being friends with women because uh i feel like most of the time i'm uh i'm too uh too guarded and going back to being vulnerable i am very very comfortable being vulnerable in front of a woman i'm not comfortable being in front of vulnerable in front of men like at work we can't even take compliments from each other because it feels weird like will you give me a compliment i could take it and and ingest it but it's like if they're like oh that's a good job and i just go because <laughs> you're gay and then it's like i can't, I can't even take the compliment because i feel weird being that vulnerable is it because of that. your your strained relationship with your father joe and uh, for me it might be but i'm like i've at, just always felt more afraid to open up your yeah. heart to another man is that what it is? It could be because me and my father were never that yeah. emotional. Like I've talked more to you in the last five years. I mean, and like you I say you you years. always see me as more of a woman, don't you, Joe? <laughs> okay, Oprah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I I mean it does speak to my uh, how I was raised for sure that I'm more comfortable. I think that's why I probably fell in love with my wife because that was like my first real relationship with a woman, and I felt so comfortable. Oh yeah. Like I felt like I could do like shit asshole joe funny joe and like sensitive joe in front of her oh uh, yeah instead of like being just two See, joes in front of you i have a totally different upbringing because yeah. i bro i my parents for whatever reason all their friends they all had kids that were were girls mm -hmm. so i grew up with all the kids that i grew up with were girls you know that were my age and then uh yeah we had uh yeah like every it was always me and a bunch of girls mm -hmm. and then so I never really, like, I always just had friends that were girls. Like, I never, yeah, I never I, had that. And I, and I never, um, it was never a big deal to me. Like, mm -hmm. um, that's why I, I think I still don't really think that way. I don't have this, like, mm -hmm. I, I, I really, like, uh, don't know when a woman is hitting So then hitting why are you so you? uncomfortable with her? Because I don't know when a woman's hitting on me ever. So then all the women... So no way, because e like Even if a woman isn't hitting on me, then I don't... Like, then I would still have to be wondering if she is because I don't know ever. Wait, that doesn't make any sense because you're yeah. uncomfortable with women, but you're comfortable because you grew up with them. I, what, why? No, I don't know how to act in one's... In front yeah, but you of, did your whole no, life. No, I have, I have friends. Mm -hmm. Good but friends. she's your friend. I know. I don't have a problem with Val. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying if Val was a, if like a strange or something you know mm -hmm. like a i don't know why we did we didn't have a problem getting to know each other uh, and but uh, but uh um, she both so handsome maybe because they're older because she's yeah. older like there was i met a girl at a one of a show but brendan put me on mm -hmm. and uh she's from nag or something like that me and her hit it off one night that night we talked for forever and then she, 
And Dan's like, man, I'm, I'm glad to see you're having a good time mm-hmm. tonight, Pete. And she goes, why is he talking to you like that? And I'm like, because I'm always a grump. Because mm-hmm. I'm always a grump. And he doesn't see me like being and talkative goes, to Dan people. Brandon. Is that what she said? You know. <laughs> and then she goes, uh, but, but she goes, she never knew it. But yeah. uh, uh, because I was in a good mood that night. But mm-hmm. So it's just more my, maybe it's just my mental illness. Could that makes that. me have problems with, with social anxiety. I don't know. I don't know. I just know I'm, I've never been good with women because I've never tried to be good with women. Mm. And then, and I've never d- played that game. I never hit on a girl in my life. Uh, they've always hit on me. And that that's just how it's been. Jane picked me up. So how pathetic as a woman do you look at us when we talk like this? Like, you're like, these poor guys don't even know how to talk to the women. I get it because sometimes I can have a really great conversation. Fun. Mm-hmm intellectual or silly or Mm -hmm. whatever kind of conversation I'm having that I'm really enjoying with a man and then suddenly I'll find myself in a situation Mm -hmm. well I've got to deal with this because I can sense that that fun conversation was a setup was a setup Mm -hmm. Uh, and I was enjoying it mm -hmm. I was enjoying the moment now I'm resentful that you've just ruined it Made it, Side made it me. horny. I'm in this conversation sleeping. Uh, was never. I was just enjoying. It. So, I, I, I understand what you mean because I find myself backing away from mm-hmm. the conversation with men all the time. Yeah, I would never. Avoid that. Well, avoid yeah, that. and I don't want to be that guy. You like, I, like when I hear you tell that story, I'm like, oh, geez, I don't even want to give yeah. off that vibe, you know, like that I'm doing that because I don't want to be that guy. Like, but, uh, but girls mistake things that I'm doing like for that, like as though I'm headed in that way, but I'm not. I'm not. That's like, why I, I never am. Not, never, even when I was like cool with it, I was never trying. Probably like I kind of do like having solid female friends that I'm like. I'm like, yeah, they're comfortable enough to be like normal and not go, oh, he's going to try and fuck me tonight. It's like, it's nice, but it's like, uh, I don't know. It's like a vicious circle of like, but that's how you get to like a girl is getting to know them and laughing with them. So it's like, it's like that stupid lizard programming in your head where it's like, it's like, but that's what I want to feel around a woman. It's like, you know what I mean? I can laugh. And like you said, like me and you can laugh all night and not once worry about trying to bang each other. Like, I don't want someone to want to have sex with me. I want someone to find my stories interesting. Thing. Well, no one you finds know. your stories interesting. I know, but definitely not my wife. <laughs> you know, like listen, there's one listener. Hey, can I tell you about the the the, the that uh, owl again? Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, let me tell you about that owl. Hey, Val's She's got like, a story uh, about uh, what they use in the glass for the what? The oh. vodka. <laughs> what? Metamucil. Oh God, I love oh, hearing. Wait, that. Oh, the metamucil yeah, and you sw- swirl it around. It's actually mixed with vodka. Uh, Is that true? So when when you tell that. <laughs> story to someone and they laugh dude i think that's a good way to keep to know a man's gonna not want to fuck you <laughs> so when you tell make sure every time you meet a new man like uh, just a regular guy you tell that story right away if they're still j- joking around with you and and laughing with you they don't want to fuck you because that story Story, we've already told the story a hundred times no i don't think we ever have yeah we did didn't we i just told it quickly is Metamucil. it Metamucil? Yes. It's a Metamucil commercial. I want to hear it. I don't I forget it. I try to retell this. Let me check my phone. And they spit they swirl it around with a spoon. Stirring the Metamucil in the glass. But guess what? It's not water. It's vodka. It's pure the glass of pure vodka. And Metamucil. And Metamucil. Yeah. So it smells like a really weirdly healthy uh screwdriver. Um, because the water makes bubbles that are not pretty on camera. And vodka doesn't. Yeah, bubbleless. I actually and see. <laughs> this, this is, is what you. Sag, this is what this is. Take a, no, she just put on another class. She, if you told stories like that about that stupid owl to your wife with that, and I've heard that story a thousand times, and she looks the same. She would love your stories. She sells it. I like that. I when don't, you I tell, you were like, oh, and then it means in Hungarian. I checked out three times during your story. I know every word to that story because she the sells it. Boogeyman with a copper yeah, dick. That's funny. Val, you tell that story now about the boogeyman. <laughs> tell us a story about the boogeyman. No, I just got her own stories. 
because it's an abortion doctor. Alan. Yeah, it's an abortion doctor, Dick. <laughs> See, you know why she doesn't know? She, she checked out. the fuck out of uh, that conversation. I know, I'm telling you. I was staring at you going, I'm off. <laughs> I'm off. Every time you tell a bad story, you'll be like, it was these meds. I don't know. <laughs> Now he's gonna hit me in the face. He's like, Psh. Um, no. That, okay, so no, those just make me sad. I'm not gonna hit you. It's just making me sad because it's like, uh, it just that's what <laughs> I think about myself in the inside. And I'm like, yeah, he's right. I suck. <laughs> yeah. See, that's how guys are. If you were Val, I'd be like, no, you don't suck. We, I suck. You don't suck. Because I'd want to be vulnerable. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so okay, so you have this. Um, like women have this thing with they don't know. How do you know then when to like? Uh, continue on and be like 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 when do you decide that you're interested like what's the difference between laughing with me for like you know we laugh all the time together but you never want i know the reason i have a four inch dick i'm ugly and and i'm married that's probably another reason why but it's like and but like uh, another guy you're just like you know what i do want him to feel that this way about me well my physical proximity will give it away so you just now you you let your body just you just decide yeah I kind of like this I, I will allow myself yeah because we're triggered into thinking you like us w women by this because as soon as a woman starts going oh my god that's such a good story uh, we I don't know that I do anything that hold if, if you put your leg on a guy's yeah. leg like this yeah and you don't Move pull it. it away that means you like us that's what I heard too no it's true if you go yeah if we yeah that's true yeah if you um <laughs> I really hate it <laughs> um <laughs> But, but Physical you, contact. You're yeah. That to me and you've just met me. That says something. Yeah. Now it's your turn. No, but if you do that to me, no, I just met theater. you. I think you like me. Yeah. So if you go, dear, or you go, that's hilarious. As soon as you touch me, to me, that means a girl likes you. Unless it's a waitress, then all those rules make are out the window because that's a different interaction with a woman. My face will do something different. Like it'll, 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 you'll actually change. My face will be different. Yeah. You should have done that when we shot the movie. Do a different face instead of the same one. <laughs> you know, if I, my mother just died. Yeah, this, this face. Yeah, I've never seen that face before. You're funny. You're yeah. Funny. Oh, this is so much fun. I'm having so much fun. But this face. Yeah, I see. Now do your regular face that you do everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> just, okay, Val. We need you to be more sad. You're like, okay. <laughs> Val, you need to be happy. Okay. <laughs> Award winning right here. Award winning. Award winning <laughs> actress. Um lead actress. Lead actress, producer, story, everything. This mm. act the shit out of this right now, right now. No, I don't believe it. <laughs> we're all we're all just getting really Joe wasn't even allowed in the movie. He was only good. I'm not saying you're a bad act. I'm joking. Now you're like getting it, like super sensitive. Joe, great. Right, now I'm gonna have to hear this all. She, she would like be, oh, you think I'm a terrible actress? Well, I was joking. I think you're a great actress. I watch like, the I horror think you movie. Like me. Watch the horror movie that Joe was in. Yeah, it's awesome, amazing. I'm amazed. She was there. She was filming it. You were there for that? Yeah, she was there. I still don't get what happened in that. I don't know what that whole movie's about. It's about me killing a black man. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, of course I signed up for that. Dream come true. <laughs> you just got to murder Moses. He was so racist. I was very racist. I never understood it. What was your motive? The motive is because he abandoned his family like most of the African Americans I know. <laughs> <laughs> Put that in the CBC, bro. No, um, the mo it was it was uh, a a guy who left his who has troubles with his wife relatable um and so he thinks a way to solve his troubles is to buy a house relatable or a church relatable and then he goes to fix it but little does he know there was another man who also had troubles with his wife who bought that same house years ago but died trying to fix the house what are we talking about <laughs> oh wow <laughs> Uh, Call back. I, uh, I need to reply. Uh, I'm a fight with you. Oh. So, uh, how much time do I know whether I should reply now? Oh, yeah, we'll wrap it up. Yeah, well, well, well that's it. You just bro you just broke the fourth. Do you have problems? I just uh, this message is waiting for me to respond. 
respond. Yeah. No, no, no. Just say it. We'll just wrap it up. Uh, it's. Uh, I had no idea. Ten thirty. It's. Yeah, nice. yeah. Let's just wrap it up. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I don't know what mm. he is. Again, we got. Yeah, we got. A, we got a, a little time away from us there. Yeah. Um. So I'm gonna mix in the uh, feedback and theme songs and all yeah. that stuff. Nice. At the uh, beginning. Are you gonna also edit this? out all the stories you told? I'll probably edit out <laughs> most of them. Yeah. I do feel like actually this one and the last show too. I was just sucked. No, you were good, man. You no. were good. I know I'm off though. Yeah, you're off. Yeah, yeah, you're off. That's something. <laughs> Anyways, uh, maybe not. Maybe I was fantastic. Ah, oh, it's so gross, man. It does get to the point where it makes me nauseous. Like it really does. When you touch my leg and oh, the, this one, the, the back. That one. one feels comforting, to be honest. Yeah. I like it. I wish my wife would do that. Actually, that'd be nice. You're stiff, bro. Okay, great massage. Oh, You're just anyways, so stiff. I can't, I can't do this. <laughs> but uh, I can't believe I'm letting you do this this much. I really... I'm just... I'm, I'm a friend. I'm a friend. Actually, I'm, this is really nice. I'm a friend. I'm here to help you. I used to be way more homophobic that I yeah, wouldn't let should. dudes do no. this. But this actually feels all right. All right, guys. That's our show. <laughs> Thanks to Val and Joe for coming in, and uh, we're gonna get uh, Val back to her fight. And uh, you know how to uh, how to support us. Give us a piece of feedback, whatever at uh, live from the Dutch Hall Gmail dot com or the Dutch Hall Gmail dot com. Instagram, Twitter, support our Patreon. Blah blah blah. Go to Clean Flow and check out all their great products. Until next week, we will see you. Nt. See you next Thursday. Thanks.